we're not going to complete with this garbage uh, if it happened to be uh, limp to us. This isn't even that close. It looks a lot better than it is. Uh, we're folding. Uh, we wouldn't even consider limping with that type of hand. Uh, next hand we have here is a, a suited ace, pocket pair of 10s, a low with a 3. It's a, an above average hand. Uh, we are going to, I would limp with it. Okay. Um, we missed. Uh, now, do we think that we can win it by betting here? Uh, so Duffer, Duffer chose to go ahead and bet this. Uh, which I believe is um, not a bad decision to make. Uh, you're going to win it a majority of the time, even if you know people kind of put you on a king or some type of some type of wrap, ace queen ten, anything like that. It, it's a uh, you have a good opportunity to win it right there, and if you don't, you have an opportunity to improve on the turn. Now that's a. Uh, that's an interesting turn card that it gives us the nut low draw now. Um, if I were Duffer, I would I would continue to barrel on this because if we get another low, we may be able to push someone off. The person that calls here typically will have two pair um, or maybe just some type of open-ended with a queen 10 or something like that. So... It, if it, and maybe maybe a bottom two pair something like that where if we barreled and he just called and a low came we're going to be able to push him off whatever high he has and if a queen came um obviously he'd kind of he he'd be trapped and we'd have the nuts and it, I, I i like to bet here again taking given the line on the flop that's exactly what duffer does and we have a call. Okay, let's consider the range that they would have called with on the flop. Let's let's give them two pair or a straight draw, <laughs> which pretty much is their range. It, it's there's if they had a set, we'd have found out about it on the turn, at least on the turn. Um, there is. Not really, you know, a backdoor, backdoor flush came and that with, <laughs> I don't think that they're going to call a bet here, um, but I don't think our tens are probably good for the high. So I think this is a great opportunity. Uh, let's see. This is, this is a beautiful play. Um, this is a great opportunity to overbet this pot because there's absolutely no way that they're not they're going to call, um, and we're going to scoop it rather than split it. If he if we just bet like six seven hundred like that, somebody with two pair and some random bad low, say they had like you know ace five six jack or something like that, they're they're going to call us every time, and we don't want to get called here. We've got a one-way nut hand, and we backed into it. So it's very rare that somebody else will have ace three. And if they happen to have ace three for some reason, maybe our tens are good. Uh, ace three, queen, ten. So maybe our tens are good. So um, I love this over bet, and that's the power of this game. That's why I love this game is to be able to make a move like this, and we have a fold from from that person. You know what? This is this is an all-star play here. This is uh, this is what separates the the knowledgeable no limit 08 players from uh, from the just regular tournament players. The ability to to make that double barrel there and um, knowing what cards you can push that, knowing what their range is for calling that flop bet and what. 90% of the cards that are going to come out of the turn are going to enable you to make this play. Beautiful. Good job.